it was hard, but I got through it. I tried to exercise. I made sure that I ate right. I drank my hot green tea at night. I did all these types of rituals that I started to do. I decided I would have no cancer drama whatsoever. I, I tried to live my life as normal as possible. This sense of normalcy gave me a sense of security, and that sense of security gave me a sense of strength. I think for me, the strength was coming in doing my research and educating myself. The more information that I got, the better I felt. I was uh, uh, very afraid of the diagnosis and felt I needed to see other people that had been through this. My husband understood that. He reached out, found a support group, and I went, saw women who had been through this, and the minute I entered the room, I really was never afraid again. I spoke with family members who are doctors and friends who have had breast cancer and and also family members who have had breast cancer previously. And that is the way I gained a lot of strength that I learned a lot about the disease and I knew that I wasn't going to die. I had this friend who introduced me to yoga and that helped enormously. And also my husband was always there for me and always picked me up when things got bad. The thing that I needed more than anything was control and I felt Breast cancer makes you feel like you lose control, so I had to regain that control back. It really is true that knowledge is power and it definitely helps minimize the fears. It was about strength in numbers. We do.